Okay, welcome to the section after 4.2.2. I can call it 4.2.2 part 3 or just the section on how to graph um, lines on the calculator and find out their intersection. I'm assuming you know a little bit about the graphing calculators, but uh, here are the rules that we were given last time. And put the graphing calculator here. We're going to graph these two rules and we're going to find out where the intersection point is. Now there's more than one way to do it, but I'm going to show you the most exact way first. Go ahead and push this button, this top row of buttons is for graphing. Push the Y equals button. Check all these to make sure they're empty. If they're not, go ahead and clear them out. And then enter in each equation on its own line. It has to be solved for Y because that's the only option that the screen gives you right now. So. We're going to come in here, we're going to type 4, and then we're going to put the X. This is the X button right here. X minus 6. And then we're going to come down and we're going to put the other rule. Negative 2X plus 3. And we're going to make some settings on here. We need to tell the calculator how wide to make it and how tall. I'm going to start with a window setting um, of going from like negative 1 to 5. So the X's are going to go from negative 1 on this side to 5 and the scale tells me that it's going to put a mark every 1 on there so I can kind of keep track of what's going on. On the Y, I'm going to start at negative 2 at the bottom and I'm going to go up to 10 and I'm going to go up by 1 with a with a mark on the y-axis. So those scales kind of give you the indication of what it's going to mark on the y-axis. I hit graph and I should see my lines in just a moment. Now, on top of this button here you'll see the word calc. It lets us do all sorts of things with the graph. To get it we have to push the second button and calc and then I can go down and ask for the option of where they intersect. You'll see some others here. I can ask it what the slope is. I can ask it what a certain value is. I can plug an X in. It'll tell me what the Y goes with that. And I can also ask it on curves what the minimum or maximum are. Right now we're just going to talk about how to find the intersection. So I press enter. And it asks me the two curves or the two lines. Right now it's blinking on that one and that's going to be the first one. So I press enter. Um, it's down on this one, I think. Let me check. It's right here on the other one. So now I say, yeah, that's the other line I want. And then it asked me to make a guess. So I'm going to put this about where I think they cross. I'm going to press enter, and it's going to tell me as best it can where they cross. And it says 1.5 and 0, and that's what we found is the answer last time. Another option to find it is to use the trace button. Now when you use trace, you're going to use your right and left arrow keys to move along a line and you're going to use your up and down to change which line you're on. Like right now I'm on this line but I can hit the up arrow and it's now on that one down there. Hit it again, goes back. Doesn't matter which line I'm on, I just want to find out where these cross. So I'm going to come and look it helps to be zoomed in and that looks like that's about as close as I'm going to get to where they cross 1.48 and negative 0 0.04 the real answer is 1.5 and 0 so you notice this gives us an approximation but if I were on a test or other thing as long as I know this is an estimation I could probably make a good estimate as to which of the answers on the test is correct or if I'm just doing a real world situation probably wouldn't have too much of a hard time figuring out where what number to use. If I had seen this, I would have naturally said, oh, it's probably at 1.5 and 0. Um, takes a little skill to start doing that, but that's one of the ways on the calculator to use, to use graphing. If the lines are not straight, you can also find their intersection points. So, hope this helps, and uh, good luck.